All right, now I'm recording. All right, folks, welcome to Nino's Corner. I am with Steve How to Hunt. His uh, channel's huge on YouTube. Uh, How to Hunt on YouTube. It's one of my favorite channels. I'm, I'm always checking you out, seeing what's going on. But, 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 my favorite uh, subject of all time is cryptids. All right, I got to talk about that. I want to talk about that with you. But first, folks, get your health with Nino. Get your health with Nino, baby. When it comes to anti-aging, we're all searching for that miracle pill, which may never exist. But believe it or not, I may have found the next best thing. It's a special type of collagen, and it's more effective at maintaining skin elasticity, reduce, reducing visible signs of aging, and promoting a youthful complexion than most anti-aging products I've seen typically found on store shelves. Tens and thousands of five-star reviewers can't be wrong. I'm one of them. Uh, simply place your order now. Get 53, 53% off all along. With many free bonuses before they sell out. All right, folks, get your health with Nino. Steve, thanks for coming on, man. I've always hey. loved doing the shows with you, man. They're so fun. Um, it's good. Now, what am I supposed to say? Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> Dude, that's caught fire. <laughs> I can't go. Dude, I was on the plane the other day, and someone's like, Nino, Nino, Nino. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Who's that? Who just said that? And it was just, I watch your shows with Juanito all the time. I was like, oh, fuck. But, um, I want to hear one more quick funny one. So as you know, I've been in the middle of nowhere more than I have in this past month, right? By myself in the middle of nowhere. And I'm and I finally had a little bit of service. I'm sitting on a log and there's not much to do. And I'm just sitting there going over my shit. And I end up your your feed popped up and I clicked on it. Just as soon as I clicked on it, all I heard was <laughs> whatever. It, I don't know, I can't remember the woods and stories you I actually LOL'd in the middle of the forest. And then, and then I lost service. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Oh, my God. Dude, I, pretty- I, I, uh, so I've been, like, spending a lot of my time. Uh, and before we went live, folks, uh, he told me some, some stuff that I hope you are able to disclose publicly. I'm going to leave it up to you, though, Steve, completely. Completely up to you. But oh, we my- still have to say they're allegations. They're just opinions. I can't, we can't state them as fact here on YouTube. I'm fluff tube. Yeah. But that's what we have to do. But I will say I've been watching a lot of trail cams. That's like my favorite pastime now. My favorite pastime is I just do marathons. And I got to say, man, like, and I'm just going to throw up some stills, some pictures of these stills of these rakes, which I call skinwalkers. Um, mm-hmm. and, and you just, you know, and it seems like you don't catch them with a the naked eye. Are you looking at them here? But these things, man are being caught left and right on trail cams. And they look almost like they're translucent, transparent a little bit. What's that? That one's been around a while, that one where it's facing the camera there, the glowing eyes. This one here? Yeah, it's been out for quite a while, that one. Yeah, so I just put, I just, and they walk on all fours, like this right here, like this one here. And these trail cameras are picking these things up. And now this, look, I'm enamored. I love Big, and this one here, look at this one here, dude. This one actually, the video on this one is, I don't creepy know, creepy shit. Yeah, it's it's creepy, dude. It's yeah. it's beyond it's beyond creepy. I I don't even know what to what, what to make of these things. But the you know the Navajo and Indians call them skinwalkers, and apparently they're able to take, you know, this is them in their natural state, but they're able to take, um, human form, animal form, whatever form. And I'm 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 sitting here. I'm thinking to myself: Could they take the Yeti form? Could they take the Dogman form? Are they demonic beings? Are these Skinwalkers? Could they be? Could have they? And I'm going to go to the next level here. Could they infiltrated our government? Are they? Are, is this what we're dealing with? Because you ever you ever watch that movie? They live with Roddy Rod Piper. He puts on those glasses and he can see all the demonic entities walking in the flesh. And I'm thinking to myself, man, it's just hit so close to home. And then you start watching these trail cams and you see these things like this thing that's on all fours right here, walking the forest, bro. I mean, what, what's your thoughts on this, man? Have you ever encountered anything? Can you even see these with the naked eye or does it can, do they only show up with the pixelation of a, like a, a trail cam or something like that? That's, that's my first question to you. Like what's your, have you heard of these things? Do you know about these things? If I seen one of those things in the woods, I'd have a picture of me posing down with it hanging off a hook. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. Where do I start? As I mean, you know what I've been digging only because I've seen I know some, what you're. I know what you've been into. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it's, it's big. That, uh, when I seen that thing when I was eighteen, seventeen, it changes everything. You know, we're being lied to straight across the board. Am I? 
am I obsessed with this shit? Nope, not at all. Like, you know, especially, we'll just take the Bigfoot thing as an example. People discover it, they get obsessed with it, they got Bigfoot shit all over the house, t-shirts and on and on and on, and they're obsessed with it. I'm not. I accept it. I see them. I know the shit's going on. All right. What's the answer? What's going on? So we got to, it's again, it's like when we talk to our viewers or we talk to your viewers right now, we're on a flight of stairs. We're on a hundred flight of stairs. We're at the hundredth flight right now, but the majority of the people are right down, down here at the first flight. So it's, it's a tough topic for me to talk about, but I'm going to, but I'm just giving a pre warn we're going to take you to the hundredth flight before you even came through discovery with us. So it's going to be real hard to wrap your melon around it. You know what I mean? So when you've been looking into this for years and then you start talking about it, like we are, we're talking way up here at the, at the knowledge level on these topics. And it's unfortunate that that knowledge hasn't been made mainstream. It's been kept under the rug. A challenging conversation with you about the shit that I've learned, especially recent, which is, bent my mind in 16 different directions see i'm just starting to babble like a ding dong well, well, what's 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 confusing about this like with what you're talking about like the bigfoot the yeti they somehow in my opinion are able to it seems to me because there's a lot of videos on them just disappearing it's almost they're able to like cross dimensional uh 100, like more 110 percent they are doing that okay and you know this well, how? And I know you've told me before, and I know we might have to be careful with even saying this person's name, but she's a doctor that studies the... Do you want to go into this? I won't even go into it if you... I'll let her rip. So, yes, she is a very, very, very intelligent, skilled doctor. Outclasses probably the majority of them out there in her field. and But she's not alone. It's her name is the one that came to the forefront. She's the truth-speaking person who took the axe chops nonstop. But meanwhile, there's a whole team of them right they used all the renowned universities um okay brain fart before i start rattling on as this is fresh off the off the plate why i had just i'll back it up a little bit myself and this doctor had a three well we spoke for an hour and a half before hitting record we spoke for i think six hours straight just the other evening and we recorded over three hours of it and the she shared most she's ever shared publicly ever before she's been on national news she's been all over the place before the government and the main science world shit on her for telling the truth and not changing her story. Where and they tried to her. shut her up, correct? Oh, yeah, they tried to shut her up. They did a job. She's very untrusting, obviously. Who wouldn't be, right? I mean, some of the people that I've been duped by thinking they were the good guys were right in there trying to take advantage of her to make a dime as well and stole a lot of her work and published it without her permission. There's been a whole bunch of shit shows going on with this woman. But I'll tell you what, since... I've been doing this, this channel, my channel here is the most watched channel in the world when it comes to this topic. And we all have her back. So now she's, now we're turning it around. We're winning, right? We're awesome. Winning. Awesome. Yeah, it's really, really good. So getting back to a lot of the questions you're going to have, what she shared with me. And just so you know, I don't jump on anybody's bandwagon. Like even you, you could tell me something about boxing. I know you're a wicked professional boxer and I'm going to go. Oh, wow. That's pretty yeah. crazy. And I'm going to put that statement that you make about boxing on a little shelf in the back of my head. And then I'm going to keep going and keep digging and keep digging. If it's that statement about boxing you made, and I'm going to talk to more people unrelated to you. And I talk to more and all of a sudden I'm going to get the same, the same from here, the same from there, put it on the shelf. Next thing you know, it's a pattern. Next thing you know, there's no way out of it. It's truth. I'm on your fucking wagon now. Gotcha. So just, yeah. Makes sense. Example, That's called science. People. It's, so, it's common sense science yeah so anyways uh and the same i've done with melba in the in his past handful of years i've had so now what many... kind of doctor is she oh god uh well she started off <laughs> right she started right off when you say all that damn <laughs> i know then my brain goes Hurr. so then anyway she started off as a veterinarian and progressed from there she is she is before the actor possibly the most leading one of the leading scientists in dna whatever that title is dude yeah yeah she would have told me it's you know i'm not a, i'm not in the academic science world so what is it called a geneticist or a could be uh, whatever but but don't yeah. don't say her name just say dr k because i know she's she's very sought out for on the internet and it'll it, yeah so yeah, well, there's a lot of people out there who are going to be very, very upset that she is with us now and that I am because 
all these people that have done her wrong have been going after chipping away at them right chipping away just saying you do we all do that with the uh with the dark side right and um anyways that's another topic before we get off topic well let's explain what she does to the audience first like what, what is she doing well she is studying she is hands-on studying the yeti right the bigfoot i'll give you the allegedly quick, i'll give you the quick rendition that's very very interesting She's doing DNA. She's traveling the world. She's traveling, traveling America, testimony, pulling DNA out and catching bad guys, right? In court. The shit that she's done. Oh, like forensic stuff. Yeah, right. it's incredible. Her brain is this big. And she's a tough cookie. She's not scared. She's one of our people, man. But anyway, so every year she said, they'll get two or three DNA samples and people are saying it's Bigfoot. It's Yeti. And her and her colleagues in the lab would laugh. Oh, we got another one, right? It's going to be a skunk or a raccoon or whatever. And then something happened. She has somebody staying at her house and her children. And all of a sudden in East Texas, she came home and this woman was absolutely losing her shit. Curled up in the bathroom, hiding with the doors locked, screaming on the phone, freaking the hell out because she saw about a 10 foot tall, hair covered, naked man go running across the back 40 right outside the window faster than anything could ever move melba comes home our doctor laughs at the poor woman says well, what even smoking and then she said that, that woman basically lost her shit on her and that's the first time that she realized what's going on something might be going on and that was her very first that was in 1995 Fast forward to 2002 i believe was when she first received her first confirmation dna sample and it was from a hair-covered being that was caught in a peacock pen coop, killed two of them, fully plucked them right there. The owner comes out. It's right there. It had a whole big hole ripped through the wire fence, and it ripped out of the fence, left a bunch of its hair with all the follicles attached. They got the DNA. Boom. And then she was off to the races. She's like, holy shit, it is real. From there on, she's had i don't know how many multiple dna samples including flesh and that was the very beginning then so like uh, like she said she didn't accept this is real scoffed at it laughed at it has she yeah. said anything about how closely we related are we to them are we related to them in any in any way i mean they're definitely so the dna is human modern female the male side is absolutely, the majority of it is absolutely unknown in the database. Unknown. So the so, mitochondria is female, is human female. Human female. And modern. The nucleus, what is it? It was the nucleus. It would be the male would be, is I, I, I hope I'm saying that right. My audience may correct me, but that male yeah, is unknown. Yeah, unknown. So I, uh, so get this one. At the same time, as I said, I take, I take my information from a source like Melba. I put it on that little shelf and I got a billion shelves in my head of interest at the same time, right? I'm all over the map, but I'm gaining it. And, and then all of a sudden I meet these other scientists from Europe, not connected to Melba, the North American scientists in any way. And they're dropping shit on me under the, on the sly through Proton, right? I know who these guys are. I know who they're married to. I know who their children are and where they live. I know everything about them. You can't get more vetted. And uh, they start dropping information on me. These guys have had over 3,500 DNA samples. 3,500. Wow. these, Yeah, and study these beings. And it carries on. Now, then I meet another scientist unrelated to my other groups of scientists who also works for the American uh, Armed Forces. He's had five different careers. He's 72 years old. He has seen these things numerous times. They've all of them, all the nuclear scientists, I think we've talked about this previous, have seen these beings multiple times each around the globe on the CCTV screen, security screen cameras, on the nuclear energy sites, as well as missile sites seen. They've all seen them. All right. So that's what I wanted to talk about, too, is because you've told me this, but I never disclosed this to an audience. I, I kept my word. I never said anything. But you're saying they have been seen. At nuclear testing <laughs> facilities or what? How are these Dozens. things even there? D right? They make it into the safety barriers like nothing to stand there looking at the camera, basically going like this. To nuclear what, facilities, to 
Missile in America site. or where? America, Europe, everywhere. Canada, everywhere. So they're, they're seen in these nuclear facilities, just what, wandering around? These or they... scientists, these staff have seen these things, and there's the cats, and just for all you pricks that are watching, and you know what I'm talking about, the cat's out of the bag. We know. There you go. So anyway, uh, now here's one point that I'd like to share right away. You know, like I said, you know, once we get going on this topic, I'm speaking from the hundredth flight of stairs in the knowledge in the knowledge ride. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the people listening right now haven't even took the step onto the first step. So it's frustrating as shit. Yeah, because there's be a the lot of cognitive dissonance here. Man, the majority, seriously, the shit that's going on is incredible. Did I ask for this? Nope. Right? But I cannot. We're on the same page. We're on the same page with everything. I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. I want us and I want our community to have a fair crack at living the fullest life we can with all the truth and all the knowledge and all the skills that we should have to be happy and thrive. That's And, that's and, and why do you think this is being hidden from us? Well, all right, picture this one. We have a human flavor of being. They aren't human, but they are. They are different from us, but they are a how do you even call it? It's not a subspecies. They are a being, a human-like being, but they're not like us, but they're very similar. Now, guess what they get to do? They get to rip around this planet without going through all this bullshit that we are. They are free to a point, right? They're not paying money to go fund bogus wars overseas and making homeless. They're not camp. paying any taxes. No, they're not being... Anyway, I mean, they are being... Some are controlled in a way. It's, it, the, the topic goes deep, man. But getting back to your, before we get off track completely, getting back to your rake thing, there are numerous, numerous alarming type beings do exist. To the point now the doctor told me and another doctor told me, the point they're telling, the, they're at the point now that if we have seen it or read it in mythology, it's, it's uh, more than likely real. That's what I'm thinking, man. Because I mean, what is the dog man? What's I mean? I mean, it's like a werewolf, and there's we they're, tra they're caught on trail cams. Now I can tell you more than what I just learned recently, and that shit too, right? So as I'm talking to our favorite doctor in the whole world, who I hold up here with all I got, I'll fight to the death for this woman. After during a three hour conversation, I also said, okay, so what's up with the dog man thing? Like I said to you before, I didn't even like saying the word dog man. It sounds so effing ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, it does. Man. Oh, it's dog it man. really does. You, I feel like you, you, just, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? It's so, a werewolf. No, we're, not, we're talking about a werewolf right now. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So, how'd they come up with the first werewolf idea for comic or movie? How'd they come up with it? I guess it exists, man, because I've seen it on trail cams. I know what I'm looking how did, at. How did they come up? How about how did they come up with the shimmering effect for the for the predator with, with Schwarzenegger? How'd they come up yes, with shimmering? Yes. Who come up with that? How come every single one of our bad guys or bad creatures in comic books and movies, how come their eyes glow red? Where'd right. that come from? And I've seen that on trail cams too. That shit's not when I got more. We have absolute knowledge on the glowing eyes absolute knowledge on the shimmering effect which is very real absolute knowledge on the dog man thing which i it still bugs me to call it a dog man but here's my stance on that shit somebody says yeah i saw this thing with a wolf like head on top that about eight feet tall thing was shredded and scaring the shit out of me and its eyes were glowing red right all right but do you think these things are natural to our planet or are they science lab experiments? What, I mean, they've gone wrong. I mean, and they're released into the national forest or are they rakes taking human dog form? I mean, what are these things? That's a question I have. All right. So here's the words from the people who are 10 times smarter, smarter than you and I combined. Here's the deal. I asked, I said flat out because I've already have this from other scientists and I know what they've show, shared with me. I said, so what's the deal? Is the D is are these beings intentionally manufactured? Is this intentionally manipulated DNA or is it natural? And she said there is absolutely intentionally engineered DNA. She said, absolutely. Wow, even on the Bigfoot. Big time on the Bigfoot, Sasquatch, what the natives refer to as the Sabe people. And so, they so, uh, so are these Nephilim 
are these the fallen angels? What are what are they? So now you're taking me down a different path here to where if they, it is engineered, maybe it's like Luciferian in nature. I don't know. I mean, maybe this is. Well, you know, I mean, from me for me and all the information I'm gathering, like you got to understand. I think I'm I think I'm up to around thirty thousand emails now since I've been thrown into this this. Uh oh, look, look at this right here. Do you see this? Yeah. What the hell is this? Like, can you explain this? This is not, this didn't evolve on this planet. Um, I don't know if you'd hear it, but, but you can watch it. Well, some other sites that I follow, but I've never heard a good explanation of what it is. I haven't been able to find where this took place or many other details. What, what I personally that? see is some type of strange alien creature crawling awkwardly on a dirt road. To me, it seems to be in more of a feminine shape, covered if in a brown skin. If I saw that anywhere, skin. bro, I am that's not the even other, the weird I'm running the other. Its this hands guy's and fingers look to be abnormally large and pointy and just otherworldly. Its head has a strange shape, and at first glance, looks oh, like you know, this prop from the movie. How do you explain that? I mean, that's not that. That has to be DNA that's tampered with. That's something that's. That's not natural. That doesn't just. No, but you know what? Okay, here's me. Here's my take on this. You know, like you know, I don't jump on bandwagons. Off. Hear me. You know what? You know, I've had probably I've had hundreds of trail cameras over the years. I've got so much experience with trail cameras. It's stupid. Um, for me, and and I've been filming wildlife forever. We got two different camera angles on that thing on the road. It's not acting alarmed at all by the guy with the camera, and it is a video. And the shitty deal is. But it's like a sloth. It moves like a sloth. It's. It, I, I know, but today it's just a video, man. You know what yeah, I mean? The yeah. shit these kids can do with creating shit is unbelievable. So, the, I mean, like I, I explained earlier to all people in my audience, I said, you know what? I get videos and pictures sent to me all the time. And I'm like, the sad thing Lizard is... Lizard or frog. The shitty deal is, the frustrating part is, until you send me a video of something bleeding out, in somebody's hands number 15 independence day site you know this footage was yeah, apparently I, filmed I on independence day this, this it shows a big foot walking into uh, frame uh, looking uh, at the uh, camera and then baby. picking up look a baby this. before running off into the Man, distance <laughs> yeah, i've seen that i mean that's not that's not fake man i mean that's that looks to me like an upright you know, gorilla walking. I mean, wh look, it's carrying a baby. Uh, the Bigfoot seems to be nervously looking at the person holding the camera, therefore I mean, saving its baby and running that? away. And look how Movement fast can it's also going. be seen from the baby as it hugs and pushes away from the adult. Some people have, have seen that one. Yeah, I actually know of a couple of um, very credible, whatever you call them, analysts that analyze that, and they all the word on the street that's a legitimate clip. That's better than that. That one there to me is better than what the Patterson. What is it called? The uh, the ones in this. Yeah, the sixties. Oh, you know I mean, when we eventually go fishing, I'll show you one with a thermal video from a military helicopter chasing it that I got that I've been asked not to share. You told me about that one. I would love. Uh, you'll let me see it. Oh yeah, of course, in person. Yeah, but I, they. You know what? They asked me not to put it publicly. Got on or got yeah, it. Of course, of course. Got honored, right. So. That, but it's I'm I don't give a flying shit about video. I'm at the stage right now. I'm way past video, way past. I don't need the proof of nothing. Where right. if you, it's like I try to tell people, you know, you you know, I don't believe in it. I don't give a shit, and I don't got any time for you. Get out of my way. All you're right. gonna do. Is I'm, I'm with up. you. I'm with you. I'm, if you're not up here yet, you're never gonna be. So just well, I, I'm just saying this leads to so many other things. I mean, the fact that these are out there, what else do we not know about? I mean, it's it's just like my question is. Are they not? Obviously, you just said it. You just told me that they're not. They're they're engineered. They're engineered, right? That's what the some, doctor's conclusion is. Some are, but some are natural. And get this one. So you know, so you know how DNA comes in the strands, right? The spirals. It's almost like a ladder. It's like a twisted ladder. You DNA, right? You get right. two half. You know, two the sides double helix, of right? Get this one. So these are hybrids. Everything, everything you're wondering about is a hybrid. That is a fact. That's taken perfect. from us, though. It would have to be taken from our base DNA. We're included. And then we manipulated. Because if that thing has human DNA, then they messed with it. I, in my, now, that's it's, what I'm... It's a theory. Yeah, so all of my scientists, my scientist connections have all confirmed, yeah, it's been... The, the DNA, our DNA has been intentionally manufactured, machined, whatever you want to call it. 
work with. Get this one. So the hybrids, she noticed. They found out. They discovered. So you got the two handles. The two I call it the ladder. The ladder handles. They're railings on the DNA strands, right? All of a sudden, they'll get to a gap where it's a single strand coming down without the other one on the other side, which is basically should be impossible. But that's what they have because our typical hybrids cannot reproduce. But these hybrids are reproducing naturally. Wow. Right. So another word in the street, uh, not the word in the street, but she, I, I'm trying not to battle. But, did, my but, face but, off. but didn't you, well, you told me that they're able to cross dimensionally, right? They're able, they're also be, they're also able to not be seen. Are they able to like turn themselves invisible? Like they have some kind of technology or some way of, uh, yeah. so how do we deliver this to the audience? So instead of just blurting out, yeah, they can disappear, man. You know what I mean? So to deliver this, to help somebody's brain wrap around what I'm going to say, like I said, you need, like I had a detective email. He goes, hey man, you're right on the, you're right on the money with the pattern. As soon as there's a pattern, there's no denying, no matter what the hell it is you're talking about. As soon as there's a pattern, it's a pattern. When detective works, as soon as they got three different witnesses with the same, with the same testimony, it's a pattern and there it is. And then they go for it, right? So, uh, what was I getting to? Shit, I'm losing my point. What'd you just ask me again? Well, they're able to be invisible. Invisible part. So, I have, I have now, I don't know. I mean, okay, for me, earlier, you tell me they're invisible, I'm going to go, oh, God, here we go. Get out of my way, right? Right. But, like I said new, numerous times, like the dogman thing I was about to say is, well, now I've got thousands of people from around the world describing the exact same alarming description of this canine head ripped body eight to ten feet tall i am a dumb ass if i don't start listening to thousands of witnesses i'm a dumb ass dude it's so all over I've, the internet it's all over the internet yeah so i've been forced to accept the fact otherwise i'm not going to advance in my knowledge base at all i'm just going to keep stay back there with my head in the sand so anyways with the, so getting back to the invisible translucent mention unfortunately it is true and i would stake my life on it that is true with the knowledge that i have at this stage of the game here's the deal i had i had a nuclear scientist on his regular walk in europe not from north america bumped into the one of these damn things having his tea you know they all have tea over we gotta there. say this though it's it's fluffy it's true according to steve it's his opinion yeah, it's just it's just your how, opinion, Steve. That's that's what we no, got to make that clear. It's my opinion. It is my opinion that uh, allegedly the scientist was on his daily hike up this little hill. Here's this dude he thought was a massive bodybuilder in a hoodie doing jumping jacks, right? About whatever it was, 20 meters from him. He's sitting there with his favorite thermos having his tea. This dude swings and looks at him with a look on his face like he wants to rip his head off. And that's when he realized the hoodie is hair. Oh. This dude's around nine or 10 feet tall and he's jumping and he's becoming translucent from the freaking bottom up in front of him. Right. He loses time. He ends up, I probably told you this in the last time we bullshitted. He wakes up farther down the trail, a kilometer with his clothes rearranged. Some of his clothing's rearranged, lost his thing. And that's a guy who's, cell phone was texting him remember his cell phone texted him at home like something like 60 something times from 60 different countries around the world welcoming welcoming him back into national airspace what anyway wow. getting, so this is like that's, mm. that's just another person who has shared so much with me and his colleagues who meant made mention of the translucent disappearing thing now i've got another guy who i know and trust my life they got, they've got night vision cameras over here on the coast of BC, just up in Vancouver, watching this thing that was around four feet wide at the shoulders in the night vision, disappearing behind a tree trunk that wide. What? So anyways, moving fast forward, now I've got possibly, I wouldn't, I don't keep track of this shit. I don't keep it logged down. Probably should. It'll take, take years of going back and all uh, the emails and notes to, to, to get all the information. But now we've got scientists confirming, oh, yeah. Yeah, they know how to do that. They have a word for it. They're, they're calling it cloaking. 
For so me. is it a natural ability or is it a technology? Oh no, they, it's, it's their ability. They know how to, they have got this ability as well as the mind speak thing. They, it's so hard to bite my lip because I, I'm just fresh coming off a three and a half, six hour conversation with somebody who has seen these beings, has studied their DNA, knows these beings and has other human friends who are in contact with these beings. I just come off six hours of speaking with the person of all this knowledge. So wow. you imagine what my brain's doing right now, trying to pull in the reins, talking to you without going freaking crazy, right? Right. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's alarming. I think if you go the distance with the knowledge gathering, it's going to become. Do you feel like these things, uh, for the most part, do- avoid human contact? Or do you think they. I mean, because there's so many disappearances in National Forest, man. Isn't there hundreds and thousands a year? Yes, allegedly. That's the word in the street, yeah. So they are never found. There's no trace of them. So could we say maybe this is happening? This is what the, this oh. is the culprit right here? This is, I mean, look at the shit we're looking at right now. I mean, if that's well, out there, I'm the least of my worries is a grizzly bear, dude. I'm, I'm worried I'm about those sh- things. Yeah. I'm pretty sure once you get to the top of the human food chain, which is above the absolute brain dead dumbasses we both have in position of so-called leaders right now. Right. Once you get above that, I think they are probably more than likely responsible for the majority human of missing humans. See, that's what I think. And then if they're out there, who's to say they're not, in our power system, well, like inter- I, I mean, maybe these things are really everywhere. Well, like I, sh- they are everywhere. But like I shared with you earlier, remember, remember the guy with the five careers in the U.S. military who told me flat out at that meeting, but control of the labor to appease the entity. Mm. Who's the entity? Hold, hold on, the say entity? that again. Say that again. The people got to understand. You told me the story of this. Yeah. So, and, and he he said control. Say that again. He was told directly us or anything except for control of the labor to appease the entity. That's it at all costs. But, and he said to me during all of his careers that that is the one statement that's plagued him throughout his life. And then he passed it on to me and I can't shake that statement out of my head because everywhere you turn, it's about the only thing that fits with the shit show that's going on today around the globe. Control the labor to appease the entity. the entity. I mean, the entity. Entity. Entity, right? So, who's the entity? Obviously, our... the. Anyways, <laughs> trying to bite my lip, buddy. You know what I'm talking I know, about. I know exactly. Everyone knows what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, we'll backpedal a little bit. I'm going to get back to some of the alarming things that I heard and learned about these indiv- these beings, all right? But just for a, a quick, a quick uh, summary with the question of the missing human beings right now, the status game, I don't have absolute proof. I f- believe I will have it. I believe, yes, I will definitely most definitely have it. But as far as I'm concerned, that's it's looking for me. That's where all arrows are pointing for me right now. As I gather my information from all over the place. Right. And I didn't ask to do this shit, but once you get going, you can't stop. You can't stop once you get going. <laughs> I'm not one to talk. I know. Right? So anyways, getting back to these beings, what was I going to share with you? Listen to this one. So um, the nuclear scientists in Europe. No. They were the second ones. Let me back this up. This is all going to go into one bundle. So the man who explained the entity shit, and he also seen these beings in this in the security screens as well. They were, he was curious about the footprints left inside the security barriers. And he took a Geiger counter, whatever it's called, you know, the radiation. Yeah, radiation reading. Get this one. So the footprints gave off a reading. All right. The footprints left from this being inside the, the security barriers gave off a reading from his footprints he left behind. All right. I took that little mention that sat on the shelf in the back of my head for however long, still sits there. Uh, moving forward. Oh, oh, now I meet now I meet these other scientists from Europe. And they, these guys are all getting to the age where they said flat out, they looked into me and said, All right, he's not a he's not a researcher, he's a searcher, and it's time we share the world what we know. These two colleagues in Europe, right? 
Now, one of them is a nuclear physicist who came in contact with that damn thing jumping up and down last time. Well, guess what? Uh-oh, now he's got a, a uh, form of cancer in his blood. All right? And he said, 110%, it's no way it was from work. They're too careful. They follow procedure. He's in his 70s, right? Now, get this one. Recently, his other colleague was in Russia related to, well, I, he's in Russia. He gets, to, there is some First Nations people in Russia, just like we have here. We'll just take the Sioux Native native band from the plains the apaches and apo whoever they have russia as well as indigenous they still have native communities he befriended this native doctor who took him to their community they had i think i told you this last time we spoke they had a whole bunch of shit all over the community relating to carvings depictions pictures of these beings they also had a log book where everybody in the community had to write down their encounter their experience with these beings they have this history going back freaking dozens hundreds over 100 years of history with these beings and this community he goes they took him they had a meeting with the elders they took this scientist to meet these beings and he said flat out he was standing right next to this dude who was around eight to nine feet tall couldn't see him but felt his arm felt his leg and they also showed him how they could change their temperature because everybody goes how can they freeze to death well watch this guess what guess what he has now certain form of blood cancer boom right take that note to put that on whenever show. someone makes contacts with these with these beings they get some kind of cancer because there's the radioactive type of thing moving along so now i've got that little mention sitting on the shelf right for later on when somebody says something and i ignite that shelf in my brain right. again now i'm talking to our favorite doctor the other night I forgot, like I knew I should have wrote down shit because I knew probably the next day I'm going to go, oh, I forgot to ask her about this or that, right? Tail end of a conversation, she goes, oh, another thing too is the radioactive. Little shelf in the back of the brain comes out again. What'd you say? That's something I forgot to ask you about. What do you know? She goes, no, um, they are too. And there is almost like an unspoken rule for them too. They are too. I, I can't remember every word for word, but they are to leave us alone and not interfere with us is is one of the big rules. For them. Um, yeah. Leave us alone. Don't interfere with us. Why? Anyway, Why? Why? One thing for certain obvious is the physical contact. And she knows of other people who have acquired cancers from radiation related contact, but they had contact with these beings. And again, what we're talking about right now is going to sound to the average person who's listening to your channel and doesn't know shit about this. We're going to sound like a couple of freak shows right now. Yeah, we are. Doesn't that suck? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. but that's the word, that's the word on the on the street. Now, furthermore, since her ride began of absolutely not accepting any of the shit as fact, now she has met and seen these beings numerous times. Does she have cancer? No, she's been at bay. She did feel sick. She said one time she felt a little something. It's in the conversation I had with her. Get, oh, here's another side note. She, this is all, everything I'm telling you is public on the video, my video conversation with her. Sir. Which is where? This this video, you haven't released it yet or you have released it? Yeah, it's on my channel. But you, I what I did on my channel was because I need, I need to generate funds for her and her colleagues to keep the, the truth train going is now going to fund it. And that's what we're doing. So that being said, I put a membership option on my YouTube channel and her and my three plus hour conversation is the only video in there. So I told everybody on my channel, look, this is to generate funds for them. And you still get your regular free videos the next day, which I do daily anyway. And so I urge, I so told this video, to this video that you have with doctor is, it's a one-on-one -on -one interview. It's not a phone. You're sitting with her. One-on-one, -on -one, not not edited. Nothing is edited out. Let her rep three and a half hours. Posted it up, and it's available for everybody. Do you to show watch. pictures and and footage, or is it just uh, conversation? No, we just talked. But and, so, and okay. But there's a lot more coming. Now get this one. This is going to be interesting for a lot of people. She has another friend. Okay, just so you know, 
I remember we spoke before I was going to go down there. She's going to hook me up with these people to take me out to go firsthand and see and meet these beings, right? And it's on the fence. Fuck, bro, maybe you need like a hazmat suit or some shit, bro. That's like, what she said she was she met up with these other natives, the native community, and they know where there's five buried bodies, and they all know you don't go near it. You can't go near it. And if you do come across skeletal remains, make sure you got the suit on and get this one on that. And that's I heard from more than the one source now as well. She there's a shit F pile of known facts. I don't and I don't give a shit how crazy it sounds. It's time for everybody to get your head out of your ass and realize there's a crazy ass ride going on called life. Accepting that as fact, because that's fact. But anyway, I did it. And you know what? I, you know, what I say I'm in, I'm in. When I say I'm in, I'm in. There's no going back. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to see it to the end, no matter what. And I said, I'm in. I'm going to go down and I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. If you don't go up and shake their hand. I'll explain to you what she shared with me in this interview. This is what she did. So she's got these friends. She only has this very small group who she trusts with her life. And she went. And I go, were you scared? She goes, not at first. And we went to this place on a full moon night so they could see everything. And they all went out to this field, this pasture. And they're all sitting there. Got lawn chairs just sitting there. And the main host goes walking off to the edge of the timber. You see he's talking. And they said, okay, come on over. And she said that then she felt she was terrified she goes i was terrified i'm like and in my hair i go the hair on my arms are standing up right now as you're telling me this because i'm picturing myself being there she goes i was absolutely terrified i was shaking i was trembling i wanted to run away and I'm, but she goes but i started walking towards the outside edge of the meadow and she said that the nearer she got the calm the more calm feeling was flooding it flooding into her and that's a point that I've had in another show because I've heard that same effect numerous times from people around the world who aren't connected. They all of a sudden get a flooding feeling of calmness and everything's okay. So she said, by the time she got to the edge of the meadow with her human friend host, she said right away, she saw this thing, look behind a tree and dart back behind the tree. I'm like, no way. She goes, yep. So they're, real, they're real skittish. Yeah, it said about 20, 25 feet away from her. And then to her right was the female and the two little ones were down on like this and they were looking at her and the female standing right there looking at her. Green, self-illuminating, green, glowing eyes in the dark. How do you yeah, explain one. that? That doesn't seem like it's from this planet. Well, we probably don't either, right? Yeah. So, well, I mean, yeah, but we're one. very, I mean, we don't have capabilities like that. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we do, and maybe our system, you know, where man, I got I'm gonna sound like a bit of a radical again, but <laughs> but I'm just a regular dude like you're right. You know what I mean? I'm just a regular yeah, guy. I mean I've been thankful I've been able to think for myself. I don't follow the line. Well, hold on, go back to what you were saying. You see it was growing, it was glowing green eyes. Oh no, it's glowing, it's glowing. So then that was her first time having a the the um uh, the visual. She's seen them in broad daylight now numerous times. She's got a photo of one she took just sitting there on a branch looking at her. She also, okay, I'll get back to the eye thing quick before I forget. So there's been a lot of people, a lot. We're talking tens of thousands of people around the globe have reported the red glowing eyes or yellow or orange glowing eyes or a beautiful blue shade, of, a, a shade of beautiful blue emitting out of their eyes or green. The word on the street is if they're yellow or red, it's not good. Red usually means anger, alarm, feeling threatened and pissed. Same with yellow, scared. Because I said to her, we don't, I don't belt out what goes around my neighborhood too much because I just don't need to. But when Sarah and the daughter had yellow eyes about this far apart, back down by a chicken coop about a month ago in the darkness, going back and forth like this off the ground. Yeah. Oh, got great. But she said the yellow is more of an alarm, alarm, not an anger. And I go, well, I could see being alarmed coming on this property, right? So anyways, <laughs> but that's the word on the eye color deal, okay? Um, now listen to this one. This is crazy. So why can't you get them on trail cameras? There are a million trail cameras in the world. Why can't we but, do but this? They, but they catch them here and there. They do, but it's... it's yeah, the odd one, but it's never really really clear. Yeah, they're, they're always like, about 100 yards away or 50 yards. And, yeah. and then they're just, boom, you know, gone. Yeah, and for all these people who 
mimic <laughs> mimic at all costs. I can keep like I lose my frustration. I get very frustrated with people, right? As I'm sure you do too. It just drives you kind of bonkers 100%. When, you have, when you have to witness it without being able to look away. There's so many people out there thinking they're gonna put on camouflage clothes. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna set my trail cameras better than those guys. There's generations now of people setting trail cameras and dying of old age and never getting shit on there. Here's why. We've already delivered to you why it's not going to work. First off, they know your intent. They know what's going on between our ears the second you get out of the pickup truck. They know. Yeah. That's a whole other topic of the knowledge they've gained. I'm going to get off track and I'll, I won't go down there yet. Trail cameras. I've mentioned you before about our superhero american fighter pilot who used the ir pointer which is about six by 12 feet by the time it hits the ground from what the hell was it five miles away or there was a couple kilometers away either ways they're they're, they're orbiting they're doing orbit at night time to make sure it's clear smooth using this infrared technology camera ir pointer picked it up boom that right away this being went like this holy shit and they're like, so it the picked up, it picked up a Bigfoot, and they were like, what? it picks up the IR and they, light. The Bigfoot sensed it and was like, it was like in pain, like he was burning his eyeballs. Wow. So, and that was such a detailed account. Again, this guy, I know exactly who he is, where he lives, what he does, everything. And he said, fly. He said they even felt bad after the strength of their IR beam that they use for tracking and shooting. Right. So get this one. Guess what comes out of what? Guess what triggers a trail camera? Motion and body heat, right? IR beam. That's the, the go ahead. The, the trail cameras, the what should we, what, what are we, how, I, how do I refer to them? The primitive, the primitive trail cameras that the public's thought to have access to, they're all triggered by IR. Right? Right, yeah. Let's, let's just say you and I can see IR light. It's going to look like the movie, you know, what's that? Yeah, one it's going to look like, uh, like bing, bing, laser bing, beams bing, bing. everywhere. Yeah. Right. You're going to see it from a mile right. away. You'll look see them all stuff. over. The, you'll probably see them all over the forest. Yeah. You're going to be the first going, oh, God, look at those idiots. They're still trying to do that to us. Right. That's what's going on. There's no getting out of it. They see them. The, the techno. What's how many years ahead do they sit ahead of us for technology? Uh, we're allowed to I, I don't know, but I, I would imagine 50, years, whatever, really 50 right. 100, 000 years. Who knows? right so It'll be more yeah so the shit that we we think we're having fun with our little yeah. drones and our trail cameras yeah absolute primitive toys for us primitive little worker bees to appease the entity right anyway look at me i'm just we're just babbling we like like i said we gotta go fishing so we could just dude get it i i this to me is fascinating shit man I, I i i gotta tell you like this is every time i have a conversation with you privately and we talk about this stuff i'm like damn i wish we could talk about this on a show and we did today we skimmed the surface but really i mean you have receipts receipts yeah he has receipts on this folks like this is not this is i mean we're we're, we're cracking the bottle wide open here and i and i feel like just the way we skimmed it right now is just enough for the audience although probably, probably a lot of us kind of too much it's like i said the easy way to, just, to deliver that one to the audience say look you guys for all you guys that don't have have never had 10 seconds of energy towards these topics and all yeah. of a sudden you're hearing us talking this shit but we're talking after years of chasing the truth and accumulating and talking to the people that you need to talk to this isn't just like coming out of having a few beers with a bunch of clowns in vegas in the strip one late one night talking about stupid shit Let's me babble, no. right? Wait, let this me to smart. me, this to me is the most fascinating subject there is because my, my thing is this: Are they off world? Are they indigenous to this planet? Were they here first? Did we invade them? Are they genetically manipulated or modified from us? Are they the Nephilim? Are they the fallen angels? Dude, my mind goes a million different directions. I have more questions now than ever before. And why are they so advanced? Why are they so much more advanced than us if we are? God's children, well, right? Like, I mean, I the, think, so why are they advanced? I think, the past, I think the past few years 
we can we can explain why with the pattern of what's been happening to us as a community. Okay, yeah, think about how in, like acute and sensitive these beings are and, and how advanced they are with nature that they don't need all the technology we have. And what do we use our technology for? To dumb ourselves down even further. So we're using Controls. it to beer, al- I mean, alcohol, bread and circus, Monday night football, Instagram, Facebook. Dude, there is nothing productive about any of this shit. Is and all we care about is materialistic guns and we were completely spiritually absent from anything. I mean, we have zero as a whole society as a whole. It's like whole culture. It's disgusting. Like we've lost our way a long time ago, bro. Like I do see not only the decline of humanity, but I see why we're, we're desired for to uh depop. You know what I mean? Like I, I see why that they, they want to do this. I mean, I don't know. I think, this, uh, this... I don't think it, you know, on that line, you know, especially when the, uh, the C vid was going down. And you're wondering what the hell's going on? How can yeah. that be so the boogeyman? Dude? Right. But I think, like like you said, you know, our, we're being dumbed down, hammered on, we're we're losing society. I think that we are. That is more so just what the lenses are capturing and delivering to the public. Because I hope I'm saying this smoothly, because sometimes my brain doesn't mesh up with my lips so good. But what made me realize that the majority of what we see and what's available to us today to make us feel isn't that big of a fraction because when I started to do polls myself and see other polls, there's something like 80%, 85%, 79% of the smarter side of choices yeah. for the polls. And that made me go, so you're portraying to us with all these devices that the whole world is all behind all this crazy shit. But meanwhile, we do a poll, the polls from the people are showing no smaller fraction. So I'm just saying, I mean, if you just go to an, if you just go to an airport now, right. I was just at the airport. I saw out of everyone there, two people wearing face diapers. Okay. So that at least tells me they're not buying into this shit anymore. And those people are really behind the ball. Whoa. So far. That is reality just, reality yeah. TV needs some people to watch. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, on that note, too, a quick one before we go down. We'll try not to go down that rabbit hole. But right now in Canada, Canada is, right now is absolutely panicking and in a real shitty form because of their lack of nurses. Mm. Gee, and they're not so they all one. quit. They all oh, quit. No, they're, they're, they're trying to make up. The, all right. Yeah, because you yeah. know what happened to the yeah, nurses. I got you. You know what happened to the nurses. Yeah. Right? They went like this. Right. And the majority of them. I'm just saying. The ma- I think, I'm just saying, to counter, not counter, but to offer up more of the positive side. You know, society's going down. We're all going down. We're losing this. We're losing that. Only what we see on the tube. Only what right. we see in devices. From the polls and watching what's going on, the shortage of the workers is showing me that the majority of us are still... We still got it going on. It's just I agree with you. the majority of us don't have the voice right now, but I have a feeling it's it's, it's coming back, right? As long yeah, as like tire assholes right. like us don't quit, right? Yeah. <laughs> but well, no, this now, is this. Okay, getting back to our topic at hand. Get this one. Here's some more exciting. What it, t- it takes quite a bit for me to get excited in <laughs> when it comes. Well, you know what I mean. Like I don't, I don't jump on bandwagons. I just take everything in, take it in, take it in, take it in until I've taken it in for all, and then I get excited. So it takes a bit. Get this one. So getting back to the trail camera mentioned why are the, why isn't there video? Why isn't there photos? How come this? How come that? We would have had this by now. She, our favorite scientist, has a very close friend who has a long, lifelong professional photographer. Guess what he figured out? He figured out the recipe how to get clear photographs of them and he has a shit pile of them really yep got him got him have you seen them not yet i'm going to and it's all coming forward they're not they're not from what i understand they're not ape looking they're not ape like right they're more like they have human features human they look just like a they look like a dude with a lot of hair but there are variations in the strength of the dna right it's just like here's an example close friends of mine they have Close friend of it, they had uh, five daughters, right? That back in the family tree was one eighth of indigenous blood, okay? Native. Five daughters, four came out, blondes, redheads, pale. 
one daughter came out black hair darker skin full native girl <laughs> right wow. it's just yeah yeah that makes when sense you, when it me. comes up right 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 so it's the same deal at with least these. that's what she told him <laughs> yeah, right. remember that time you went in that long yeah, voice exactly, bro oh yeah i cold. can explain this one <laughs> it's a little cold a few nights yeah. like real cold and he so, bought it he's like oh well, you're right you got a two percent indigenous in your great 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 grandmothers uh, i got it yeah <laughs> so anyway um oh so getting back to these beings and their various descriptions and I'm telling you right now, I think I haven't counted. I lost, I stopped counting at around 20,000 emails over a year ago, right? And I get emails, every, I get them around the clock from all around the globe. So anyway, I, so I'm probably up around, I don't know, 30,000 eyewitness emails now from around the globe. Oh. 90, pff, I don't know, I'm going to take a number out of my ass. Probably 98% say it was a man. That was a man, not a monkey, not a gorilla. That was a man, more of a man than anything. not quite a human being, but it was a man, wow. right? So, and we also, I had a, I had a funny feeling. I my gut was saying that possibly the majority of the beings seen around the Florida area. The, what was that called? The swamp something, or what are they called? Well, they call, what do they call them down there? Swamp booger and the Florida skunk ape. Yeah, but skunk I, ape. Yeah. Yeah. From the from the majority of the eyewitness testimonies from down around that area, it seemed like they were more of a, almost more leaning towards the gorilla primate being. And right, the, and our doctor said, "Yeah, actually, that is true." Okay. So God, there's not yeah. one type fits all here. There's no, different, just like different, us. You're just like us. Yeah, there's an array of different kinds here. Right. You want to see something fucked up? Go on a National Geographic and take all the natives, all the different peoples from around the globe and take a picture of everybody, put them on one page and see the differences. It's yeah. Amazing. It's like, what? Holy. Yeah. Anyway. So getting back to the rake thing, the original year, what you're interested in right now. Everything ties in, man. Everything ties in. And there is some effed up hybrids existing today and you know what she and the tail end you still there yeah yeah see it yeah yeah you see what i'm looking at here yeah yeah these are all the rakes uh well these are just images and 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 things like that but yeah this is what we're talking about when he says rake like, these things they climb on all fours yeah. some of them this one here is the creepiest to me it's like his knees are bent backwards it's pretty creepy. It's right out of an Exorcist movie, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's creepy, man. And these are from real trail cams, most of them. Look at this yeah. one right here. Look at this one right here. And they're like translucent. Like they're like and in our dimension, it, but not. And to give a little more credit, possible more credit, those ones you just circled, the one facing the camera, that was done, a, that was obtained a long time ago before we had, our, or, you know, our next generation had all this video editing skills and shit, right? Right. That's back when everything was a little more primitive. I mean, you can tell when some things are fake. Like this one's that's fake, you know. Like some are <laughs> obviously fake. I'm not gonna say they're all real. But I'm just saying that, you know, I you know, you gotta think that if these are skinwalkers and they take human form, what's really among us everywhere in the cities, even like not just out here in the national parks. Oh. Well, one thing we gotta do is what we should have been doing, like you mentioned in the beginning, is should have been listening to the most long-term uh residents on the on the dirt you're standing on right that's the indigenous people to whatever continent you're on and when we first came here the indigenous people told us all about these beings all about them actually no that's a myth yeah and skinwalkers that's mythology too actually that's just a, a myth okay tell us more no that doesn't exist either said nobody ever right be like be like me going down to your place for the first time ever. You take me in the desert and tell me what's up. And I tell you, no, 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 you're wrong. That's not what that is. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's exactly what we did when we first came here. But anyway, there's more I wanted to mention. Uh, I am going to go down there and I'm going to see these beings face to face. 110%. I'm going to do it. Will you come back on my show and talk about it? Or will you call me while you're there? Can I join you? Maybe, maybe just get in with them and then <laughs> I might screw it at first. Hey, I brought a friend, just so you know. Bought a friend. Yeah, like... <laughs> no, but I'm taken. talking to once you get acquainted with these things or these beings. Well, like when I go down, I have to as well. There's a few different people who I've looked into. I know who they are. I know what they've done, what they can do, what's going on. And um, 
I just do not want to crack something open that's not going to leave me alone. You're opening you know, Pandora's box, man. Well, they call it being tagged. There's a lot of people that seem to have these occurrences and experiences life lifelong. It's just going on. It's going on and on and on. It's just why why me? And I mean, once they once they come in contact with them, it's never ending. Once they know you know, they know you know. They all know. Oh, here's another thing too. That's amazing. But it's you know that I'm the conversation I had with Melba needs to be heard because <laughs> it it's way more smooth and detailed than what I'm spitting out right here, right? But they just go to your channel for that and they just get into the membership video. Is that how that works? Yeah, I go to the, what's my channel? I got three channels. I got one channel, How to Hunt, is still dedicated to hunting and fishing, which was my original motivation to promote the app platform that come up with to help people with knowledge. And then I cracked this shit open, and then it took over. And so the one channel has 316,000 people on it or something. That's called The Facts by How to Hunt, right? Is that, where it's, is that where it's at? or? Yeah, that's where it's at. And it's the second to last upload, and it's members only. The and facts after, on how to hunt. Yeah, and if you do decide to subscribe to the membership to watch this one video, make sure you chop off your subscription right after so it doesn't continue to charge you. And there you go. I'm not doing it for the cake. You know what I mean? You yeah. know what I mean? No, you're doing great. That's that's amazing. You're doing amazing work. So the, the facts only, on how to hunt. Yeah, it's the only time I've ever done it. Will I do it again? I don't know. Maybe somebody Jeez. we care about has something happen. We, we got it. We need something that is sitting there for future use. But I'm not <laughs> going to charge everybody to watch my freaking shop. Anyway, uh, was it going to get up? I want to make sure I do not. I need to be certain that I'm not going to be tagged. I don't need to be looking out my back 40 right here in the forest and have eyes glowing at me. I'm not into it. Leave me alone. Although I do have these beings here now. There's one or more. There's been a bunch of shit going on around here the past couple of months. Whatever is what it is. I, I'm not into it. I still carry myself with. I know you're here. You know I'm here. Just leave me alone. I don't have, but, a, you know, that's what's, that's what's so crazy. We've never really found any kind of, uh, you know, um, try uh, like a what, what community of them or like a, like a village for them or like a, a nesting ground or a cave where we think they live or any kind of like shelter or oh. they're, they're not. And they're, they seem like they're very social beings and they travel in groups, but they're, do they just sleep on the ground or do they go into another dimension and exist and only come here to play well the word on the street from numerous sources and from what these beings have shared verbally i mean our doctor has been communicating with with some of these people talk straight up talking back and forth oh, man okay right they're not, they're not passing off bananas and fucking you know these are people these are a people there's no way getting out of it there's no way of getting out of that fact. There's no effing way. If you don't accept this fact, you better start digging and then catch up and then we'll let you join the conversation. Yeah. Right? So there are people, they speak, they will, they can, they have troubles because of the way they are built physically. They have a, it's like a speech impediment. They can't quite, they cannot quite speak physically with us in our language smoothly. So are they Telep telepathic? Telepathy, they own it. They own it, and it doesn't matter the language you speak. They speak it. Fink, fam. Another thing, too, she shared with me. I said to her, because when I, a lot of the times when I'm sharing these emails, I'll take off my quad, or I'll, I'm in the middle of nowhere, bush playing, and hunting, and, I'll, and I still record my videos, and I read these emails. And I said to our doctor, I said, so they know what I'm doing, don't they? She goes, so they know what you're doing absolutely they know what you're doing and then my next question was all right so is there a distance barrier for this mind speak thing that's up telepathy and she's like not at all i go so if there is some of these beings these people are in my back forest right here and they're watching me listen to me read a nemo whatever they can communicate with somebody of their own in southern louisiana instantly she goes absolutely yeah See, there's a lot of shit here to wrap mm. your noodle around if you're not familiar yeah, with Yeah, because it. a lot of people that look at them like if they are almost like a Neanderthal or like oh, they've, uh, primitive they've or out. yeah, like just a one step higher than in a gorilla or something, but they're not. They're, they could be, they're actually what you're saying here, many ways more advanced than us. Way more advanced. 
right? And another thing too is they are equipped to survive, whereas we aren't. We're not equipped to survive. All right, you throw these people in the mountain right there overnight without a fire, without a sleep bag or anything, they're fine. You throw us out there, you're not going to see you in the morning. You're out of here, right? Yeah. I've been thinking of trees. I just lost everything I was going to say. The telepathy thing, the distance and the telepathy. Oh, listen to this one. Here's the shitty side of the card. There seems to always be a shitty side to, to the card. I said, but I actually emailed her this question quite some time ago, and she knew I'm busier than shit. She's busier than shit. I said, hey, just ask me this one question with a yes or no. Because it's another little shelf over here where I keep hearing about the guys in the black SUVs or the low-flying helicopter showing up where there's shit going on, right? I also had a police officer tell me when he was investigating, investigating a property with permission, and he phoned this organization he thought was legit. Next thing you know, uh, the SUVs show up and two guys started playing good cop, bad cop with them on the side of the highway. You better tell us all you know. You're going to lose your 401k. You're going to lose everything. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm just saying. Damn. I, Damn. I've had all the, I got a little shelf over here taking in, in the SUVs. I don't know much about it, but I've got a shelf up here for it. So I said, hey, do you know if there are human beings actively seeking out these people yes all right so i brought that subject up with her in our video conversation i said hey let's get let's get to the where they locating them she goes technology they've got the technology to seek them out she goes steve and we know this we don't have we got the primitive shit to play with right we get the primitive shit because you know if we did if we did up-to-date uh hands-on you know what we'd be doing with it i know what i'd be doing with it right away 100%, right yeah right so anyways um she said, now, I cannot prove this. I can't back it up. I'm not fully jumping on the bandwagon, but I trust her with my life. And she said there are bad ones. And the yeah, word just like people, I would imagine. She also explained to me that uh, the bad ones are more than likely 100% from the intentional tampered with DNA not the natural okay it's a couple different flavors going on here you got the good ones and the bad ones and the bad ones are the ones that are sold by the human being groups um, and i said okay and she just said with a hesitation yeah right especially for me who spends a shit pile of time in the middle of nowhere i'm like that's nice <clears throat> another note um, you see, my brain's just wow. firing. On, um, wow. Yeah, right. So, anyways, wow. and of course, I always say something out loud to those guys in the SUVs because I know they're listening to my channel and they piss me off because they all grew up beside us playing baseball. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't help it, right? Because you know they're there. You know they're watching. Yeah. Anyway, they and they're watching us fumbling around getting the truth. But anyways, back to the dog man mention. Um. I, I know there's a lot of people out there. Oh, no, they're great. I've seen dog, man. I've seen them lots of times. They're fine. Leave them alone. You guys got the bleeding hearts, right? But my gut, and I go with my gut on absolutely. I have my guts telling me that this dog, man thing is bad. And I've said it publicly a million times. If I, right now, if we're looking out there right now, I'm looking out the back 40. What the hell is that? And I see something staring me down, which in nature, body language staring down isn't good. I see some staring me down with a canine head, ripped, eight feet tall. I don't give a shit what anybody said. And I said, so I said that to our doctor, and I said, so am I right or am I wrong? She goes, you're right. With the dog man thing, you're right. They're not good. Okay, confirmed. She goes, but take note. She said, if you do get in that altercation. I have to use a silver bullet. <laughs> I mean, that's how yeah, crazy right. that sounds. I know, but but leading up, and there's more to tack onto that for backup in a way. And she has spoke to numerous individuals who were at the Redhead Giant of Kandahar episode. She told me flat out she spoke to the witnesses. It was hauled off in a Hercules helicopter, whatever it was, on pallets. Yeah, Kandahar Giant, right? Yeah, they took it over to Germany. That's she said she spoke with allegedly. The, allegedly, she spoke with the white witnesses, and they stopped because if you don't. 
they will heal. I don't mean heal like a dog come here and heal. <laughs> they'll, they'll repair themselves yeah. and or their buddies will come and get them or, the, or they will portal jump and come back another time. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you portal jump right there. There you go. That shows us that they're dealing with, we're dealing with something outside of this realm, this, this three dimensional existence. They're not with, they're, they're able to go back and forth. All of them. You want to hear something? I'm going to, I'm going to say something that's a little left up, but this is what I was told. Do I know anything about this? No, I'm passing on what I've heard. So in conversations with these beings, actually, you know, multiple people I've had, I know a lot of people that communicate with these people and I'm absolutely, I'm 110% confident they are communicating with these beings. They, and, and a lot of these people have asked them, do you know the name Jesus Christ? Guess what the reply is so far, a hundred percent across the board. Of course we do. And then what? Well, right now, she said that in one of the conversations, one of the answers was, of course we do. And here's, this is one of the differences between you and us. We can still go to where he is and come back here. Mm. What? Oh. Right. So I say that slowly. So because... that's kind of like showing us that we, we really are falling. Well, just so everybody knows, I say that without knowing. That's the first time I've heard a statement like that myself. It's yeah. sitting on the shelf right here right now. But that's the first time I heard it, and I heard it from a very credible individual. That's all I can say on that statement. But I can share with you that I have heard from numerous human beings that ask them the same question. Have you, do you, do you, are you familiar with or do the, you know the name Jesus Christ? And 100% across the board so far with the people sharing with me, they have all replied, of course. Wow. So when you say the rake thing, everything else, how does it all tie in? You can't get away from everything tying in. We're on this, uh oh, look out, flat earthers. I'm about to say it. We're on this round ball. Just that fact alone means that everything is tied in together. There's no way it isn't. <laughs> right? <laughs> it, yeah. Every single thing is tied in together with our existence. It's just the levels of intelligence we're allowed to have, possibly, right? Oh, okay. Ignorance is bliss, dude. It is. <laughs> it is. Let's what happened? All right. This is firsthand for me. So um I get, you know, subscribers to send you a lot of stuff. I, I hate getting, I'm just, I'm not, I feel uncomfortable with gifts. I don't encourage it. I don't like it. And people say, I need your address. Okay. I don't know what to send me. Maybe they're going to send me some proof of something or whatever. And boom, yeah. they'll send me a gift. I appreciate it. But it just, I'm just awkward with the gift thing. I don't, I don't encourage it. So anyways, very kind person sends me a handcrafted custom built knife. What a freaking kind gesture, right? I got this thing in my backpack. Took on my hunting trips. November. Uh, last November, a year ago, November. Okay. I'm alone. I've got about four or five trail cameras in my backpack. I never leave the house without a handful of them ever for what I do. And I've got my, my lunch in there. I got my cliff bars in there, my water, my coffee, my licenses, my cameras, and all my shit, my knives. And I, when I'm not hiking, I'll come out in the woods, whether it's my horse or my quad, and I'll strap my backpack, my day pack on the back because I hate wearing the damn things all day. And I guess I left the zipper on the bottom access part of my backpack open. Now I'm ripping along in a quad on an old deactivated road in about 12 inches of snow, fresh snow. And then my other friends showed up a few days later. And then now we're all hunting around. We hook up at the same intersection. My friend saw me, so I go, check it out. We found a trail camera. Like, that's my trail camera. Where'd you find it? Down that road. I'm like, oh, shit. My freaking pack was opened up. That's why I lost my knife and my cameras. Damn it. Whereabouts? You imagine trying to find a, a knife in a foot of snow that you lost yeah, days going ago. To. Yeah, yeah, going to. Yeah. All right. So there you go. I lost my knife. I know exactly roughly where and I know when. Almost a year later, September, I'm back up in the general area. I'm with my friend who also has a degree in psychology. We're hunting elk. 
And I've said trail cameras out. And mind you, this particular day backpack that I've had, you can get into the top from the top opening. You can unzip the bottom and get into the, the one compartment from the bottom, okay? It's just a freaking day pack. I've used a steel at fishing all winter. I've cleaned this backpack out probably six or seven times since last November. And now I'm going on a new hunt up north, driving two days to get there. I'm going through all my gear. I'm getting all my shit laid out. I empty everything I got, my pockets, my backpacks. I get all my shit. I'm just saying I'm absolutely organized. I'm not missing shit. We've been hunting for about four or five days. We're split up. I'm in the bottom of the mountain. Then I went to this wallow, which is called a wallow, where elk rub their handlers and piss on themselves and et cetera. And then I'm checking a trail camera out and took my backpack off and threw it down on the trail, the quad trail. I'm sitting there and I walked up 10 feet away from it. Come back, my buddy shows up in the quad. So now we're gonna sit down and have a coffee. I open up my backpack bottom zipper. This knife is sitting there in my face on top of the trail cameras Damn. without a sheet. And there's a little bit, you can see this is brand spanking shiny new. And you can see it's it had, there was still little bits of dirt stuck, weathered, this, this corrosion in right here. Obviously laying on the ground somewhere for quite a while. It's a backpack. Oh, man. Oh, man. What? Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. Something wanted to let you know it's looking after you. But it was kind of a it was a gift back to you, so I'm it's not. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's threatening. No, but well, I don't know. And the more happened on that trip for me. But get I know. So I, I mean, I'm an open book. I don't give a shit. I shared exactly what I just shared with you on a video to my audience, right? And then of course you got all the fuzzy wuzzy people saying, "Oh, just say thank you. Just say thank you to the forest people. They returned it for you. Be thankful. Why are you so angry?" All right. First, I'm not angry. Am I alarmed? Yeah, there's an eight inch open blade in my soft backpack placer without me knowing it. Is that, I don't know. I don't know who did it. Just because that happened, my brain doesn't go, oh, a 10 foot tall naked hairy guy did it. Thank you. La la la. On with my toe. <laughs> no, think about it, dude. I, I want to know how that happened and who did it. And I want to know clearly and honestly, how the fuck did that go down? They're fucking with you, man. Who They're is? Fucking whatever Ooh. that is and i don't you know they're to... letting you know they're there man they're just, they're just i don't you know. have a connection with this knife it's nothing special my passed away grandfather didn't give it to me a stranger who i appreciate well now so, you do have a connection with it yeah you know what dude i'm like fuck come on man no no i'm not you don't okay you're right thank <laughs> but that honestly happened dave it's like i don't even know how to use i don't know how to you told me this story before no but what what you know it's such a face dead stop to the brick wall instant do not pass go now what yeah i don't even know what to fucking say or do i don't know it happened ah you misplaced it shut up <laughs> right i i i'm blown away dude i don't know there's so much into this there's a lot to unpack here i i don't even know what to say i mean this has been probably the best interview i've done with you i guess so i don't know i think so the same theme, right? The same. No, yeah, but it, dude, there's just so much to talk about. I mean, there's just. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I've been like really reluctant to go camping ever again. <laughs> well, okay, well, okay. One more quick note on that. So the same trips. So now my buddy, the degree in psychology, is a full time firefighter in, in Whistler. Now he's got to go home. He's got a brand new family. I'm by myself, I don't give a fly shit. I've been by myself everywhere. I, not a half. I love hunting by myself. I'm in my tent, but I'm not a dumbass. I don't need anything. I ring my tent with trail cameras facing out. I just do. There you go. Leave me alone. I know you're not going to. Can you see it from the inside? What's looking out there? Like with your phone or something? No, we can't see shit. Unless we have infrared goggles, then you'll see the okay. beams. Okay, okay. But no, I but I mean, while it. you're in your tent, can you see what the trail cameras are picking up? No. Okay. I just do it as a, I just do it just as a little bit of a, a thing to help me sleep all night because I yeah. know that no one's going to come up and fuck with me at the edge of my tent, right. which they do to a lot of people. Because I'm not, I know you're here. I know you're here. 
I'm not here. I'm not taking applications for Sasquatch friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just leave me alone. <laughs> I just want to get my elk and go home. I'm not into this shit. Go pick on somebody else. I know you're here. And so uh, because trail cameras are a very effective method of keeping away from the side of your house, keeping away from looking in your kid's bedroom window, keeping away from your camper, it just works. All right. I'm not a dummy. I'm going to do it. I got the trail cameras. So I just put them at all four corners so I can sleep all night and possibly stop somebody from messing with me. All good. Anyway. First night, no problem. Second night by myself, no problem. Third night, I got an, oh, I've got my Starlink with me. I'm listening to some shit, whatever I'm listening to. And time to go to sleep. I'm listening to my phone sitting here in my tent. I'm, I'm going to shut it off. And I just thought I heard something. You know, you're making noise and all the, you know, this kind of yeah, sound yeah. and shit. I thought I heard something. And because you've got that little ear in the back, your mind will never stop listening for yeah. something like not, all, not like paranoid, but there's always that part of your ear that's on alert. You can't stop it once you know. And I thought I heard something. What the fuck was that? And now I go dead quiet. What you don't want to do. You don't want to go in that frame of mind in your tent, you know, just like in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? You know, you're dead quiet. You couldn't hear nothing. All right. Don't even go there. Go to sleep. Don't even go there. You know what I mean? go to sleep close my eyes but now i'm like intentionally being aware and this noise come out of the forest i wouldn't even be able to guess how far away the noise was i don't i cannot i can't even accurately describe what the sound was if i had to guess it would have taken something like a backhoe or a full-size dump truck to make this kind of an impact sound, whatever it was, coming out of that dark, never-before-logged-off timber. Dude, I've got so many grizzly bear stories that'll blow your socks off. I don't, I don't react. I react in the right way, thank God. I don't lose my marbles. I was literally panting like a dog on the phone in my truck out of there, terrified. Wow. So you think it was like, what, a, a Bigfoot? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's all I'm see, saying. I don't need this in my life. I didn't see what was making the sound. So I'm not I'm not gonna say it was a 10 foot tall hairy guy. All I'm saying is after a life long professional big game guy to North America, and I've never had that happen to me in my life. There's no pattern of me being terrified and losing my shit. Never yeah. before. And all of a sudden that went down. I was I was my breathing changed. My breathing doesn't change. I was panting. I don't know what's here. Something's here, man. I don't talk like that. It was brutal. <laughs> it was freaking brutal. I drove, I drove about 10 miles away and slept in my truck. Dude, I I just... Anyway. I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I... I, uh, I said I want to go with you hey. fishing, for sure. I want to go fishing... Now, I don't know camping? if I want to... <laughs> hey, Steve, man, I'm, I'm going to call it here, man. Thank you for coming on, brother, man. This has been fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, we'll do it again, right? Dude, well, yeah, we, we got a lot more to do. I just, uh, you got, I'm going to go watch your that documentary or that with uh, Dr. K. Yep. Yeah, she's oh, very, oh. I, I've heard it about her and. Oh, she um, watches your shit, too. Really? Oh, well, yeah. hello out there. Like, you, I'm a big fan. So this Fellas is up. crazy. I, I would, man, so if you, any kind of progress you make, please let me know because. Well, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I can't say when. It's just like, it's just like the fishing trip I just mentioned. I can't, yeah, I yeah, can't, yeah. I can't, I can't say when. Because if I do say when, then I have to do it. Right, <laughs> right, right. The brain works. So uh, whenever I do it, it'll be as soon as I can. Because you know what else I got coming up for the yeah, month yeah. of January. Um, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to make some. We're going to make some more videos. Bullshit. I'm going to look at some photographs and shit and just have a good time with my friends. And then my gut says green light. I will go with them and I will go face to face with these beings. If, if, if the telepathy thing is going down and I'm a candidate for it. All right, I'll do it. But just assure me it's not going to happen every day in my backyard when I leave here, please. Yeah. Right. right, right. So maybe set that intention. Yeah, I want to go back to life as normal again, but 
I am going to take the knowledge that I acquire and I'm going to share it. Love it. I'm going to share it. And then I'll talk you into going down there and we'll hold you by the hand and we'll take you to the <laughs> floor too. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, man. I, I don't know. It might might think I'm one of them. It might be, you, oh, can bring a teddy bear. you can bring a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, thanks, man. I appreciate Thank you, you man. Brother, coming on, man. Let's stay in touch. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, folks. Later, dude.